survival of the fittest in the NFL. If you cannot handle something, you will see that something until you can, or until they run you right out of the league. And on that note, let's hit the big board. Dean Lowry, Jackson Carmen, second round draft choice, and Dean attacks him with what's called a bull rush. Nothing fancy, no moves, just straight power right over the top. And Dean walks him back to the quarterback and bats down the pass. Dean's a smart guy, he went to Northwestern, and he knows the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And once again, he comes with the bull rush, and once again, he's putting Carmen on skates, and he's in on Joe Burrow, harassing him into an off-target, incomplete pass. Same matchup, and it's rinse and repeat. But this time, Joe Burrow has to get off his spot because his blocker is getting pushed back into it. And then when it comes time to throw the pass, he's got to avoid his blocker and Dean Lowry's outstretched hand. Not surprisingly, not a good throw. Could have been intercepted, but you get the point. Carmen cannot stop Dean Lowry's bull rush, and he knows it. So Carmen says, sorry coach, I'm gonna dump your fundamentals, they're not working. I'm gonna get creative. So look how much weight he has forward. Now you may be able to stop a bull rush that way, but nothing else. Nothing like Rashawn Gary looping around on a stunt. And watch Carmen, he barely gets a hand on him and Joe Burrow is gonna pick up the tab. All because Big Dean was all day with his bull rush. Now this quarterback was, is really good when he has time in the pocket and when he, when he can step up in the pocket. So um, that was my goal, to, to get some good interior push and allow our outside guys to really eat. That was a big plan and I thought we did it um, very well today.